want to take you to uh, Toledo, Ohio now. A police officer on paid leave after a routine traffic stop uh, takes a nasty turn. Um, the police department is saying that they've investigating uh, how the, uh, the incident escalated after a man confronted the officer who had just pulled over the man's daughter-in-law. It ends with the man, his girlfriend, a 14-year-old son on the ground, cuffed, and the officer aiming his stun gun at them. Watch here. You guys request a little police here, please. Yeah. Toledo, buddy. Buddy, guess what? Oh, 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 it's all different kind. Nobody trusts you. Nobody trusts you. I never know what to do. You'll do it. You know who you are. You're an approach a police officer. Nobody can approach you. We got to shut up. You just lost your job. Aaron, shut up. Just keep that video rolling. Get up! I can't get up. Get up! Get up. What? Man. Um, yeah, we need um Toledo, Toledo police here, here at uh, the Get out of the way! Get in! We have to get out of the way! I need uh, Toledo police yeah, here at. Washington Township. All right, now Washington Township, you heard that. There's a lot to consider here. Now, what you don't see on the clip is the actual stop. The officer says the man got out of his truck, started yelling profanities at the cop, and saying, I'm sick of you people pulling people over for no reason. We do not, uh, we do see rather the officer tossing the cell phone belonging to a witness who had called 911. She has her arms up above her. He's got the whole range right here, dude. No, it's it's like, on the tailgate. Video on that. Sit. Sit up there. I am. Hey, can you get Aaron a phone? He's got two babies in the car. In that truck, he's got two babies. Get up the phone. Oh, this is not the city of Toledo, and they're already on their way. What are you afraid so of? Hang up the phone. There you go. Go. Get out. Go. I don't need you people. Go. All right, now, time for Arthur Idala, Fox News legal analyst and criminal defense attorney, Remy Spencer, former prosecutor, with me now. And good morning to both of you. Whoa. Okay, now, this is a township. Small. Right? Small. You know, this is not even a city of Toledo now, as you heard at the end. Didn't That's do the right correct. thing. That's correct. This officer absolutely did not do the right thing. Township, city, what have you, they are trained not to violate our federal rights. Well, okay, what, where's the violation of, of, of federal rights in we here? We know where, that where this... Where do you see the case? This officer said he pulled them over because of an unregistered or expired registration for the motor vehicle. He can't just take people out of the car. He can't just place them under arrest. We see him, not entirely in this video on the clip that you showed, picking them up, throwing them against the car, <laughs> taking that witness's cell phone, throwing it to the ground. That's a consciousness of guilt. He doesn't want any recording hey, of no. his you behavior. You saw someone thrown up against a car? I didn't see yes, that. Yes, in the, the video, video. The video is five minutes and 40 seconds. That's right. I saw no one who was thrown up against if the car. If you watch that video in its entirety, you'll see him pick the woman up and put her onto the car. She's screaming okay, in pain. Under the car, but that's okay. But I, she I, is I, screaming I in pain. I want to make this very clear, though. We do not know what happened before the camera well, started rolling. Okay. Now, that, that's Counselor, my defense. Turn. If Go I'm ahead. the criminal defense attorney representing this police officer, I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, it's like you walk into the of the movie theater and the movie is two-thirds of the way over and you're only looking at the last one-third you can't base your judgment on who did something right and who did something wrong on that according to the cop he didn't pull them out Remy according to the cop they, he, the guy jumped out and said I'm tired of you cops doing this all the time you're one police officer in a little township you got a, a grown man a grown woman a 14 year old he took charge of the situation well, the way he thought best he said, that to be clear, the Artie, did he behave appropriately the officer it's, it is yes too no. difficult to uh, according to that it seems like he may have used excessive force thank you that's because the there point. is a scene that i don't think we showed bill where he then grabs the woman after he puts the guy in the car he grabs the woman and he throws her against the back of the truck and she's screaming you're hurting me you're hurting me you're hurting me 
That's a problem. Yeah, and Arthur is an excellent defense attorney, and I know that he knows his stuff. But what we both can agree on is that the Fourth Amendment does not allow the police to just take you and grab you and throw you. And the fact that this officer tried to get rid of the witnesses is very telling. Because well, Arthur's One right. officer trying to secure a scene That's all by himself, waiting for backup. This is a taser gun now, okay? It does not have bullets inside of it. He was using what he had. I'm certain that he would argue to his boss that I did what I needed to do to control the situation. Reasonable amount of force. That, 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 is his, that is his defense, Bill. You just gave his defense. What is upsetting is that there aren't backup there more quickly. And I guess if we wanted to criticize him, you'd say, look, just leave everyone on the floor until backup gets right. there. Well, one, one more fact. He stopped a woman for having an altered license registration sticker, which happens all the time, frankly. Here yes. That's York. a minor, minor traffic uh, of violation. Of course, but that's how they find stolen cars, and that's how they find Drugs bad people. But they guns. don't usually find an entire family, a baby and an I got infant. It, but what the officer said is that this man then drove up in another car and confronted me. I had no There's choice. There's no report that this was a stolen car or that they've committed any crime. But they don't know that They're until just they run the number. But they Come don't on, get, you know how this works. But they don't get to put you in cuffs and throw you on the ground until they find out if you're a criminal. Unless, they Remy, have unless to have it's, probable it's cause. credible that the driver, that guy, did jump out and confronted the police officer right. in some manner. Okay, matter. we have a good debate here. It was yes. fair and it was balanced. Yes, it yes, is it balanced. Was. And we're waiting to hear from the police officer in Washington Township. Apparently he's on administrative leave, but no further comment at the moment. Thank you, Remy. Thank you. Thank you, Artie. Thanks, Bill.